always there to help you were always there to help me even when no one else was there you were always there for me even when i can't see you even when i cannot trace <laughs> When I started staying alone, there were times where I ran out of capital for my business because I need to feed, I need to clothe myself. Everything would just be too much on me to the extent I can't feed. I just go to bed with just Gary in my tummy. I had to sleep on the floor. My door, it had no lock. And I'm just wondering, what else can I do? Like, where next am I going? Or how am I going to pull through this tough situation? And this song would just pop out of my head. Uh, God is always there for me. Or even when things seem to be so bad, He's just there for me. I had siblings that were way older than me and they were all in school. So I just had to wait back for them to like go further before I enter. So the wait was too much for me and I don't see. Naomi Akbegba is just 21 years old, but she's already an independent woman with the way she fends for herself and puts food on her own table. Since she left secondary school in 2016, the Benue State Indigenous has been selling buns and cakes after leaving her family to seek greener pastures. Today, she is grateful for how far she has come and is also encouraging young ladies out there to live their dreams and not bottle themselves in one corner by thinking less of themselves. My name is Damla Rokola and you are watching a fresh episode of the Niger Woman series on Legit TV. So you sell cake, how did you come about selling cakes? Okay, after I graduated from school, that secondary school, in 2016, things were a bit tough. So I just made do with what mom told me, like she would always sell buns, make it and then give me to go sell when I'm not in school. So after I graduated, I saw it as a way I can actually earn and support myself. When you graduated from university now or still secondary school? Secondary school. Okay, so since 2016, you've not tried to go to the Station Institution? Or... No. I've tried like a couple of times, but when I'm being given the admission, the resources are not there. So that's why I said, let me do what I do, save up, and then go to school. After I graduate, I'll set up a shop, a baking store for myself, and make my buns upgrade to baking of cakes, wedding cakes, and other snacks. Okay, Naomi, how many times have you gained admission? Can you remember how many times have you gained admission that you couldn't go to school because of lack of resources? How many times? Three times. Can you tell us when? when okay, the school. first one, the first one was in 2016. I just wrote my work, so I got jump. I wrote I got 182. The second one, I got I applied in federal. Um, I forgot, but I think the third one, it was in UNN, I wrote the aptitude test, I was not given the admission. And 
this 2019 I didn't I didn't apply for jam because I, I felt like I needed to save up more before I would forge ahead so that's why uh, have you been able to save up now or what's up yeah I've saved a little I think I can start then whatsoever when I don't have lectures I still go out and sell so I'll have a bit little I'll have a little bit income for my next <laughs> next move or whatever yeah. I, I need money yeah, for yeah sure mm. so when you say um you've saved up enough do you have a particular school in mind and then what course particularly do you want to start okay the thing is i applied bsu but i can go to any university any university i'm being given admission i can go either jam could decide to give you admission here or here so anywhere they give me the admission i can go but i'm sure with what i do i can still pull through wherever you are wherever course, i am course, you... accounting or business administration why why, why not something to do with catering oh, well i say that's because of how i started i had in mind to be a business lady or an accountant because i like counting money <laughs> you count a lot of money with your business i believe yeah i count a lot of money not that much right. but i count money in my business i get to sell every day and at least five thousand yeah three thousand yeah four thousand yeah i have it in time i go out to sell so there I can feed and I can get close myself and do other things with the little income. I have. Are you telling me that you make five thousand, three thousand naira daily? Yes. Every day I go out to sell, I make three thousand, four thousand or five thousand naira. So this is aside your um, the costs of production no, or no does everything those things are a bit high so everything when you go out you just sell five thousand yeah and how much is your profit if we're to calculate and if i'm to calculate and remove everything the profit the profits the profit is one five one five yes every day yeah so you make a minimum of one thousand five hundred dollars profit yes every day yes mm. so in a month that's like that's yeah, that's a, that's a lot of money. Okay, so tell us about your activities, your catering stuff. How 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 easy is it for you on the daily? How how do you go about this stuff? You wake up in the morning and you're thinking, how do I do this? Okay, initially it's a bit tough, but I see it as a means of. I see it as my life now. I get to like wake up by one or two. I mix it so that it gets to, I'll give it time to rise. So when it's 4.30, 5 o'clock, I start frying to get to the market early as 8. So when I'm done frying, I go to the market. That's 8 o'clock when people are coming to buy stuff. Then I sell. That's where I get customers. I sell and by 12, two one by one two like that i'm done from the market then i come home and i come home i get some food stuff before reaching home so i prepare something to eat for myself and then i'll i'll call it a day do you stay by yourself do um, you live by yourself or do you live with your parents uh, i live by myself by yourself so i suppose you also pay house rent yeah, sure. How much is your rent annually? Okay, my rent is thirty-five thousand. Yeah. And you pay the rent from this from your business? Yes, my business clothes me. It's I pay my rent from there. I feed from there. I do everything from my business. Can I ask you if you have a preference? <laughs> no. 
You don't? No. Guys don't come or you're not interested. The thing is, I just see it's like wasting of time and energy. I feel like I can channel them more into something. Like I can channel it more because let me say my business is a bit is stressful. No Already. doubt. It's, yeah, it's stressful. You get to like sleep on, on minutes and hours and then you wake up and you try to do this. You don't have time to like flex, do makeup, go to parties because you know you need to meet people in the market at this particular time. I am an independent lady, so I just like to like do my thing and... So can you tell us about your family, tell us about your siblings, your parents and your siblings, how many siblings do you have and why your parents? I don't want to talk about my family. It will just get me emotional, I don't want to. To get emotional? Mm. And you don't want to get emotional? I don't want to get emotional. I might end up crying, so I don't. You should get emotional and talk about them. Maybe it's a way of um, healing. Okay. Yeah. I have five siblings, plus me making it six. I have a mom, I have a dad. They all stay in Gwe West, but I'm not staying with them. Oh. I had to look for greener pastures. Mm. Like, when, work. You, when you say you had to look for greener pastures, were they not stay, living well? Were you not living well with them? Or what part you had? Well, I think it was because things were a bit difficult. So I don't want to be a burden to them. So I took out time to like talk to mom so that I will be on myself. I get to like make something out of myself instead of being a burden to them I just feel like I don't need to be a burden to them I'm responsible for my survival so that's why when you say things were tough how tough were things? things were tough in the sense um, I had siblings that were way older than me and they were all in school so I just had to wait back for them to like go further before I enter. So the wait was too much for me and Jesus wants to talk about I don't see I don't want to put this on. on the internet. No, I okay. don't want to. Okay. Let's continue. So, so your business. Yeah. Let's talk about your business. You seem more interested in the business, mm -hmm. and you're always excited when we mention this business. What are your prospects? I mean, what are you looking forward to? What are your plans oh. with this business? Yeah, I love my business because way back at home, when mom used to fry the small chops during Christmas season, I'll be with her and I'll be eating from there. So anytime I'm hungry, like there's nobody to prepare something for me. So in the morning, that's my breakfast. I just eat it, drink water, and I go out to sell because you don't get to like keep a customer waiting that you want to go and eat. So I just eat that and then I go to work. So I'm very happy when I'm selling, especially when customers patronize me I'm very very happy because I feel like that's the way I can get my daily bread and I can get everything I want to so I'm very very happy when I'm talking about my business it's more like I enjoy what I do and I love what I do I like anything that concerns baking anything that concerns cooking because I know it's from there I'll eat my own share so I really love it yeah I like the energy you're putting <laughs> into this well um have your friends sometime told you that maybe they've some one time or the other told you that there are faster ways or quicker ways of making money than this stressing yourself having smoke all over your body your eyes pepper and all have your friends ever told you there are faster ways of making money than this before yeah they did 
um i could remember a friend once told me now me you look you're always looking too old and too dull you should freshen up make your hair look nice and all that and i'll be like there is time for everything now it's time to work so I need to work now to put food on my table because there's a lot of, there are a lot of people out there that they don't work everything is being given to them so they don't know how much it costs for them to like get things done so I'm very very I'm very very keen on other ways of making money I just want to stick with what I know you're and then you know you're not keen mm? You're very keen on other ways of making money. Or mm, you're I'm not, not keen. Trying. Like I don't, I don't fancy other ways, other quick ways of making money. I, I don't. But what I other don't. quick ways have you told you? You've not mentioned them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cut. Tell us. I mean. <laughs> no, if there are other quicker ways they've told you, I mean, it doesn't have to be. Any, it's just the truth. What, what have they told you? Okay, look. This stuff is taking the whole day. Your eyes get swollen and all of that. You can do this and that. Those are the things I'm asking. Are there specific things they've told you before that you can actually do? That? Yeah, like somebody will be like, no, you don't need to go through frying every day. You you can actually invest in this, invest in that, invest in this, and I I don't see it because. Or you can go and work for somebody and then get paid. And I'm like, work for somebody. At the end of the day, I'll have just 10,000 in my certificate, just 10,000 or 15,000. Meanwhile, I can make my own bonds, sell it. And at the end of the month, I can get more than 15,000 and more than 10,000. So I don't see any need. If it takes me looking like an old man, then fine. I'm going to do it. It's no big deal. Mm. So where do you see yourself in the next five years? I mean, five years and five years, where do we see I still have plans of going to school. So in the next five years, I should graduate from school. And there, I'll try to put up a business, like a standard catering business for myself. Mm. So you started working towards this, or this is just a plan that you've written somewhere? Yeah, I've started working towards it. Most of my savings is for my school and after my school and what I have to put on ground after my school. Okay, your your um, daily routine seems um, triangular. You wake up, you fry, you go out to sell and you're back home, you sleep for some hours, you wake up, you fry, you sell. Are there other things you do like, are there other things you can do maybe for fun or what do you do when you're a little bit less busy? Okay, when I'm a little bit less busy i go to church like i always go to church after sales on wednesday i go to midweek service and on church, work, church, cry, cry, church, yeah and cry. i bake as well so when a customer has any work like i do i make birthday cake as well so birthday cakes and wedding cakes but it's not regularly. So anytime they just give me that work, I don't need to fry anymore. I just go to, to go to my friend's shop, pay him for using his shop, and then make the cake and then deliver it. That's what I do when I'm less busy and I have work to do. But sometimes when I don't have work to do, I, I enjoy reading and then I enjoy watching movies. You don't sing, you don't dance. I sing a lot. I love singing, but I don't dance. I don't know how to dance. Yeah, will you sing for us? <laughs> okay, those songs you want me to sing. What kind of song can you sing? I can sing gospel. Sing gospel. Um, what kind of gospel? <laughs> what kind of gospel can you sing? Okay. Hmm. You always there to help. You were always there to help me. 
Even when no one else was there You were always there for me Even when I can't see you Even when I cannot trace you <laughs> I was going to ask you what inspired that particular song. <laughs> well, when I started staying in London, there were times where take the time. When I started staying alone, there were times where I ran out of capital for my business because I need to feed, I need to clothe myself, I need to pay my bills. So everything would just be too much on me so the extent i can't feed three square meal day sometimes i just go to bed with just gary in my tummy and i'm just wondering what else can i do like where next am i going or how am i going to pull through this tough situation and this song will just pop out of my head uh, God is always there for me even in my in my tough moments even when I don't have anything or even when things seem to be so bad He's just there for me working where or working when He's just there doing one thing or the other opening ways for me one, one way or the other so i love singing it's a way that i free myself from everything that i'm feeling all the stress and the heat and everything i just feel like he's going to be where god is just there making a way for me so church is what i do in my free time i go to church 247 I go to church and I'm happy because I'm not where I used to be before because when I started when I took off that I was going to cut off myself it was difficult I had to sleep on the floor I had to in fact my door it had no lock but with time I took I took my some of my savings I just bought lock and then little by little I got to bed there was no light there, there was no bed in my room so I used the sack the sack of the floor that I sell I spray it on the floor and I use the wrapper to like cover myself so with time I got to bed little by little I got some things I even got carpet and there is light in my room now so I'm happy when I look at everything I'm just happy for God's message on my life that's why I'm I always put up a big smile when I'm hustling because it's from there that I can say okay this is what I have now and I'm grateful for where I am now do you still want to sing another song Kind of song do you want me to sing? Sing any other one that inspires you a lot. <laughs> Let's see. You're not interested in singing for now. So I can never get tired of singing. Okay, but let me ask you a question. When you're frying some of this stuff that you sell, what are the things that run through your mind? <laughs> 
I mean, when you're frying, what are the things that, that run through your mind? What things do you tell yourself when you're frying every day? Anytime I fry, anytime I'm frying, and anytime I'm on the streets, I feel like this is my story. This is my starting point. I just have this feeling that I'm going to be a great person someday. So anytime I'm fine, I just feel like this is not my destination. This is just a level I'm passing through to wherever I'm going. Because I know I'm going to somewhere big. So I just feel like it's my starting point and it's my story. So that's why sometimes I put down everything that I do because I know someday I'll look back at my rough days and be like, yes, God pulled me through. Right. What has been your biggest challenge? I mean, what's the biggest challenge? This kind of business. I mean, there are other challenges. Um, every business has its challenges, but in particular, what's the basic challenge for you as a person? Okay. This this particular business, you need you need customers. You need customers. You need people that patronize you. So, I don't say I have that much challenge. It's always, you know, sometimes you be running a business and you get to like do one or two things and then your capital is out, but you still find a way to like get back on track so i feel like the only challenge i have is just people that want me if i have a lot of people patronizing me i'll never get tired of making those buns i'll never get tired and i'll never get shy of making them right. what would be a dream come true for you i mean what situation would be like oh my dreams have finally come true what, what situation have you looked at in that manner before? My dream come true would be if I actually make mom proud, make mom happy in one way or the other. Because she taught me what I know now. She taught me how to make these bonds that I now see as a way of surviving as a way of living so my biggest dream is to make my mom happy how would you possibly make her happy maybe by building her a house or something i know she'll be happy if she sees that i'm successful in whatsoever area whatsoever area of life i find myself i know she'll be happy that I'm succeeding in this area. If it's catering business, then I'm succeeding in it. I have a lot of people patronizing me, and I make I take this business to the next level. She'll be very happy and proud of me. Is there any other thing you want to tell us? I just want to tell somebody out there. You know, there are lots of people out there. They are very they are very shy of what they do. I don't think you should feel embarrassed. Even if you're selling charcoal and you're black as that charcoal you sell, I still feel you should you should sell it out like let someone know what is happening to you. Like put it down because that's just your starting point. You're surely going to move forward. You're surely going to step up. At least before I had no bed in my house. But now I have a bed I rest my head on. So there is no situation that you can stay there forever. You can just move up. You can step up. So everything you do, just let it out. It's okay. It's okay for them to mock you. It's okay for them to laugh at you. It's okay for them to give you bad comments even when you post. It's fine. Just do it and be free. Because there is nothing that people will not talk about. Some people even lie that they give you they give you this particular amount of money. But just don't stop what you're doing. Just keep on doing what you're doing. 